Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the vital, free, virtual instrument synth in Reaper. So in this tutorial, I want to show you one of my favorite free synths called Vital, which works with Windows, Mac, and Linux. And what I love most about this synth, besides the fact that it's free, it's one of the most powerful synths available. You can literally create almost any synth sound with this plugin. And it's laid out in such a way where you can see everything it's doing at all times. And simply drag and drop sections to connect them or have them control each other. So if we go to the Vital website, it should look like this. We can scroll down to the bottom of the page and choose the basic free option right here, which will take us to this page. We can create an account. Once we're signed in, we can download the version we need, either Windows, Mac, or Linux. And after it's downloaded and installed, we can open Reaper. Now I've already created a drum track using Zitala right here to go along with our synths. Let's hear it. Now we would normally use this option to create a new track, insert virtual instrument on new track, but I already created a track template for the vital synth. So let's use that instead. And that creates a new track with the Vital Synth on it. We could go up here and choose our presets. And it comes with a whole bunch. But let's close this for now. Now we're going to approach this a bit differently from the last few videos. We don't have the time to go over everything this synth can do. Plenty of other videos available that will go that deep. But I also don't want to simply create a track using presets, as that won't teach us how to create our own sounds, which is the best part of using a synth like this. So we're gonna create a few sounds from scratch and create a musical piece with them. And hopefully that will be a nice jumping off point for you to create your own sounds. So let's see how this works. Right over here, we have our oscillators and there's three of them, oscillator one, two, and three, and they're all identical. This first one starts out as a saw wave. But we could change these shapes to anything we want. And what's unique about them is they're not just waveforms. They wave tables, meaning they could be three dimensional. So we could adjust this slider to hear all the waves or slices available. Let's keep it a simple saw wave for now. Now we could use a second oscillator down an octave to blend in with the first wave. Or we could detune it a bit to create a chorus effect. We could also choose how many voices we're using over here. Right now we're using just one. We could switch it to two and hear one voice on the left and the other on the right but that's very detuned. Let's bring it down a bunch. Get a bit back in. Just a bit more. Now, if we change it to three voices, we get one in the middle, one on the left, and one on the right. And we could add as many as 16 voices. Let's keep it simple at three. And over here, 
we can adjust the volume and pan for oscillator one. And over here, we could adjust the envelope for the attack, hold, decay, sustain, and release. So if we slow down the attack, the sound fades in slowly. Or we could shorten the decay. To create staccato sounds. And down over here, we have two filters filter one and two. And we can see that filter one is already assigned to oscillator one. And we can adjust the frequency of the filter right here. And the resonance or the peakiness of the filter right here. Although we could adjust them both at the same time over here. And we could adjust the filter type over here to dirty, ladder, digital, format, comb filter, phaser. Let's set it to digital and 24 dB. Now over here, we have our LFOs, and there's four of them. And we could use these to control or affect any other parameter in this plugin, just by dragging and dropping it on them. So let's drop it on the filter. So now this LFO will control our filter, like this. And we could change the LFO shape over here. Let's keep it simple and use the triangle. Now the mode is set to trigger, so the LFO will start over again every time we hit a key. So let's change it to sync, so it'll continuously cycle whether we hit a key or not. And we can change how fast it cycles over here. Let's make it a bit slower. And we can adjust the range or how far the frequency is going to move with our LFO with this knob over here. Bring it down and it doesn't move at all. And bring it up to decide how far it moves. Let's use LFO2 to create a sequenced pattern. We'll change the shape to a square wave. So this will be on and this will be off. We'll leave this set to trigger and change this to eighth notes. So we want to control the oscillator volume. So let's bring it down to start. And let's drag LFO2 to the volume knob. And we could adjust the range over here. So let's hear it by holding down a key. We created a sequenced synth. Let's add some effects to this. Let's start with a delay. Next, we'll add some reverb.
So let's close the plugin and record a part. We'll rename our track. So let's make another synth for bass. And this time we'll choose the quad saw wave. And notice if we switch to 3D, this is a wavetable with many different slices to choose from. Let's make this three voices and adjust the detune. Now we're going to use LFO 1 to control the different slices of our wave table. So we'll use triangle as the LFO, trigger, and change this to a full bar. Then we'll add another oscillator and bring it down an octave and blend it in. Bring it down a bit. Just the high one. Just the low one. And together. Let's close it, rename it, and record a bass part. So let's create another synth to use as a pad. We'll choose the waveform, pulse width. Let's add five voices for this. Use the LFO to control the wavetables. We'll use saw up for the LFO and quarter notes for the frequency. Let's turn our filter one and switch it to digital. We can use the same LFO for the filter. Let's add some effects. Like delay. And reverb. And let's close it. Rename it. And let's record a pad part. Let's add one more lead synth. We'll choose the waveform, flange scrowl. Let's drag the LFO to a waveform, change the LFO to a sine wave, change the mode to sync, and the frequency to a full bar. Let's add some effects. Like delay 
and reverb. Let's close it, rename it, and let's record a lead synth. And we could arrange our song just by bringing in one synth at a time. And just like that, we created a musical piece using the vital synth. So that's pretty much it. That's the vital free virtual instrument synth in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!